Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer and today I'm talking to Susan Mowbray here in downtown Vancouver. Susan, who are you and uh, why are we talking to you? Okay. Uh, I'm the senior economist with Myers, Norris & Penny here in Vancouver and we have just prepared a report for the Vancouver Island Economic Alliance Summit um, on the state of the Vancouver Island economy. And the Tell me, uh, what are some of the highlights? Like, What did you find? One of the most interesting things that we found is how the economy of Vancouver Island has diversified. You're seeing a movement away from resource extraction and that is of necessity. And there's been growth in a number of industries that are just emerging. Specifically, you've seen growth in international education. And what this is, is you're seeing more and more students coming to BC to study uh, from abroad. And a lot of those students are choosing to study on Vancouver Island. And when they come to Vancouver Island, they're buying services from local businesses. And they're paying tuition fees that help to support our education system. And at the same time, they provide us with a potential pool of skilled labor to fill some of the labor shortages that we're anticipating in the BC economy due to our aging population. Right. Uh, some so that's a big part of it. Like the retire, we've, we've created a retirement economy, and that's creating some interesting situations for us. Is that right? Yeah. One of the things that you're seeing on Vancouver Island is a big factor in growth is population, is people moving to the island mm -hmm. because of the lifestyle, and the data suggests that it's mostly people who are over 55, but there's still a lot of employment for people in their prime working years, which is one of the things we found most interesting because when people come, even if they're retired, they're still buying services from local local businesses and they're still buying housing and so they're still creating demand. But at the same time as those people are coming, you're not losing that group of young people who are driving economic growth. So there are opportunities being created for them and where those opportunities appear to be occurring is in uh, skilled occupations related to high tech. So that isn't what I'm like my sense of it is that we're losing our young people but you're saying that we're actually there are opportunities? There are opportunities for young people and while there may be people leaving um, and overall the number of people in that prime working age may have declined you are seeing strong labor force participation and you're seeing strong growth in um, occupations around professional and scientific services which would likely be related to your high tech sector. Right. Right. Okay.